Hello dear YouTuber friends and I do hope you're all keeping well. Welcome to this new video. I've got a bundle for you today. It's by FS Academy. It's the Zero to Hero bundle. Take this in now. You're getting all the FS Academy mission packs. 60 missions. So things like the VFR, FS Academy VFR pack. Navigator Pack, IFR Pack, Jetliners, and Commander Packs. Some of these missions can take over an hour. Now listen, I have a Back to basic series. I class myself as a professional flight simmer. Keep that in mind. Flight simmer, not a, a real world pilot. These missions are actually brought to you and you're, the person training you is actually an airline captain. So a person with real life captain, airline captain skills guiding you through these missions. What a great accompaniment to my Back to Basics series. This is, I've been using this to brush up on my skills, especially in some of the airliners like the A320 here. I'm not over familiar with it in Microsoft Flight Sim. I've been running through these mission packs to get familiar with it. In this video, I'm going to show you where you can get this Zero to Hero bundle. Oh, one thing I should mention. It's giving you a saving of roughly 40% on all these mission packs comes to around $70 maybe just over £55 but that's a 40% savings on all the packs and apparently if you own any of these packs you will be compensated somehow uh, or you know it's the hero to zero bundle is going to cost you less it's going to work out actually costing you even le less if you own any of these packs must be one of the biggest bargains of the year in Microsoft Flight Sim. Like I said, I'm going to show you where you can get the pack from. Once you have the pack installed, I'll show you where you'll find the missions. And things like the manual, where you can find the manual that accompanies the pack as well. And then I'll be showing you a couple of these fantastic missions. You don't want to miss out on this one. Listen, let's not dilly-dally. Let's get on with this video. So the Zero to Hero bundle. Where do we get it from? I hear you all cry. <laughs> Maybe. Just keep in mind, FS Academy, if I've not mentioned it before, they're sponsoring this video. They gave me the Zero to Hero bundle ahead of time. It's going to be available on the marketplace, I believe, at 6pm PT time. So that's going to be 1am UTC UK time. But that'll be on Friday, 1am, 1, 1 rather, Friday morning. But 6pm PT. PT time on the 28th of March, which is when I'm recording this video. So just a few hours from now. But you'll get it from, obviously, the Marketplace. In the Marketplace, just click on the Activities. So Marketplace Activities. And you'll probably find it in a couple of places. Either training, I would say more likely under Bundles and Packs. If I see all here, I'll show you this. And if I scroll right down to the bottom, you will see that I've got all the FS Academy packs installed. But it doesn't say Zero to Hero, that's because it's not out on the marketplace yet at the time of recording this. It will be a few hours after this video com com comes out. So as you can see, I've got the Zero to Hero bundle installed, but it's basically all the FS Academy. I'm going to show you how much you get in these packs. Over 60 different missions in all these packs. You're getting a whole lot. Remember, the Zero to Hero bundle will be at a discounted price. Roughly $70, just over £55, or the equivalent in your currency. It's roughly a 40% saving on buying all these packs individually and you get so much with them 
In fact, let me show you that part now. Okay, so once you bought the pack and you have it installed, so you bought it and download it, I'll show you where you found it. So I'm on the main menu, go to activities, and these will be the activities that come with Flight Sim. So these are the Asobo activities. A lot of you may be familiar with this. Discovery flights, flight training. Scroll to the end. I'm using the mouse, mousing down. If you've got Xbox, use one of your analog sticks, sticks to scroll to the very end where it's got custom content. This is where you'll find the mission packs. And here we go. Here's all that I counted well over something like 65, 67 missions in here. There's a lot of missions. <laughs> now, if we go to FS Acad Academy Navigator, for example, I'll click on one of them. It will give you a brief description on the, of the mission, show you what aircraft you'll be flying, and it'll tell you the flight duration. Go back with some of them I found. Let's go to this one here. I did this one uh, uh, just a moment ago. It's got two legs. And it's roughly, what, it's, what, it's 40, about 40 minutes, isn't it? 50 minutes, maybe, that? And it depends how long you take. Well, there you go, flight duration. Over an hour there. Because you've got start off and landing, and goodness knows what, and taxiing towards the end. Go and look at the, at the video that I've linked in the description. It's the, I believe it's the FS Academy Commander video. Some of the missions will have narration, some of them won't, they'll just have a nav log and it will tell you on the splash screen whether, whether it, some of them will say you're by yourself or you have a narrator on this mission. I believe with this particular mission there's no narrator, but I want to show you something pretty spectacular, what this pack shines at. So I'm going to go down to the jetliner, let's find it, so many missions, jetliner. At Gibraltar here, put your skills into practice to safely depart Gibraltar. Oh, goodness me. So I want to show you this one. I'll click into that one. It'll give you the mission duration and goodness knows what. And tell you what it is. Tell you what aircraft you're flying. Shall we go and try this one, chaps? Oh, just before I do that, there is a manual on the splash screen as you load into missions. It will say, refer to the manual. You'll be thinking, where's the manual? I'll put a link to that down below in the description. And it'll give you accompanying maps and VFR maps and information about particular missions as well. So yeah, if you're going to buy that, go and get that manual as well. But let's go and try this mission. Okay, so here we are in one of the jetliner missions. Isn't this atmospheric? We're at Gibraltar. And we're putting our skills to the text test rather in the A320 Airbus. Not that familiar with this in the sim, so this has been indispensable for me. Now listen to this in a moment. We don't seem to have any engine starting. Right. Yeah. We've covered a lot of topics over the course of the mission so far. So let's put what you've learned into practice. Okie doke. We've just finished pushback here in Gibraltar, bound for London Gatwick. Look at that. Gibraltar is a unique location with weather peculiarities, a very short runway, and an attached RAF base. We'll run through start up, taxi out, backtrack and line up on runway 27, and then perform the specially manually flown procedure which takes us around the rock. Yikes. Get the APU running and we'll get started. Okie dokie. Uh, APU start now. I think it does give you pointers. I'm just going to use control and 8 to get to this top part here. So what's it want? APU start. APU starter. There. And this should highlight green. Yep. Take your time. Listen to that. Ready to copy Jetliner 846. Jetliner 846, clear to London Gatwick, via the flight Brilliant. plan route from runway 27, via Pimos, Malaga, initial climb altitude 4,000 feet, squawk 5466. That's the APU Jetliner starting. Jetliner 846, clear to London Gatwick, via flight plan route, runway 27, Pimos, Malaga, altitude 4,000 feet, 5466. Jetliner 846, read back correct, start up approved, report ready for taxi. Isn't that realistic? That start is brilliant. Wilco, Jetliner 846. Wilco. <laughs> Roger, Wilco. 
So, it doesn't tell you here, but the, that's a transponder, I believe. Now, will that be control... Control 6 to get down to here. So I'll just type it in down here. 466. Six. It's teaching you all the proper procedures, isn't it? This is. This is just all right, brilliant. To start. Start engine one. And even. So you could take your time here. I, I, I'm not rushing. I've got my thrust. Oh, let's put my thrust to idle. I had it up from the previous mission. There you go. That will tick. Take your time. You don't need to rush through this. Once the engine mole selected to start, which is down there, engine mole selector, start. Mouse up on the wheel. And engine master one on. Is it click? Yep. Pop outside a second. Oh, look, the engine's starting. I did that. Gibraltar has a particularly short runway, measuring oh, under 1,800 metres. Hmm. Because of this, we'll perform a toga takeoff and use flaps three to shorten our takeoff run. Oh dear. <laughs> we'll start the takeoff from a standing start, meaning we'll set 50% N1 whilst holding us still on the brakes. Ooh, but these are proper procedures. Roll. This is just excellent. As we're departing with flaps three, to clean up, we first accelerate above F speed and set flaps one. Then, once above S speed, retract the flaps to zero. Okay, okay. What's he want me to do now? Start up? Well, so we'll just go and look at this instrument display. Engine 1. I think when this gets around 40, that'll be the end of Engine 1 startup. So now we start are. Engine 2. Okay, okay. So I'm just going to click on Engine 2 on. And you should see this display. ATC will give us our exact departure instruction shortly, but we can expect to make a left turn at 1,000 feet onto heading 180. Okay, okay. Once clear <laughs> of the rock, we'll proceed direct to Pimos. There you go. So that engine's starting if we pop outside. So remember, these procedures they're giving you are pretty much what they would use, I imagine, in real life, as it saves sort of real life captain airliner captain the rating giving you the instructions there just feels very very authentic oops did i just put my landing gear <laughs> now if, if i had a captain next to me i'd say what the heck are you doing hodges and put the gear down thankfully it doesn't actuate if you're on the ground in a way there we go that once this gets to 40 <laughs> Don't let Hudson in the okay, cockpit of the airliner. Perform the after start flow. Okie dokie. And your mole selector on norm. So let's put this back to norm. APU bleed off. Control 8. Just default setup. APU bleed off. APU master off. Uh, spoilers armed. Let me see if I can do this. Remember this. So it's teaching me things. I don't know much about this aircraft. Control 7 at all. Let's arm these. How do I... Armed. That's it. Just push it forward. And flaps free. Oh, I'm just going to use my mouse panel. One, two, three. Hey. People keep asking me about the multi panel. I'll put the multi-panel link Anti down below for you off. in the description. Ecamp status checked. Pitch trim set. Isn't this magnificent? Rotor trim zero. It's just one of the After missions out of 60, guys. One of the flight missions. Flight control check. Okay, and it'll take you to for the flight controls. I'm actually using a yoke here, but do bear with me. Full Either on left. left. Right. Full right. Is it back now? Neutral. Climb? Oh, no. Full up. Full up. And fall down. Fall down. And we'll do our rudder test next. Neutral. Neutral. Yep. Rudder full left. Sometimes rudder full left. doesn't actually go green for some full reason, right. but never mind. It's caught it. Neutral. So that should be the... Yep. Flight controls checklist done. Jetliner 846 request taxi. <sighs> Listen to this. Jetliner 846, taxi to hold short of runway 27 at Echo. Hold short runway 27 at Echo, jetliner 846. You can't beat this for atmosphere, can you? 
you really can't taxi light oh here we go taxi light oh, I can't remember which one's the taxi light oh that was lucky on oops that's it right <laughs> parking brake off to just use the button I've got on my flight controller pedal brakes oh just test my brakes there we go whole shot of E ah here we go so that's E there just gonna throttle up a wee bit to get us moving just show you a bit of this because the atmosphere in this particular mission and in many of them like this and you've got a lot of these types of missions if you want to brush up on your skills you know you've got pro skills ILS skills and airliners Particularly, it seems to be the A320. I think there might be one or two other airliner in there as well. It's just absolutely brilliant. Along with other missions that I'm not... I really don't have the time to show you this video. It could be hours long as if I showed you many more of these missions. But I'll just bring that throttle back. It should be enough to get us to this point. And we'll hold short just about... There. Hold here at Echo. Yeah, okay. Put my back and brake back on. Yep. And it'll go to the next phase. Jetliner 846, departure instructions. Oh dear. <laughs> go ahead, Jetliner 846. <sighs> jetliner 846, after departure, turn left, heading 180. Navigate visually around the rock, then direct to Pimos, altitude 4,000 feet. Okie dokie. Left heading 180, visually around the rock, and oh. terrain Pimos, 4,000 feet, jetliner 846. Okay, that's what we expected. We will fly runway heading until 1,000 feet, then make our turn to heading 180. Once visually clear of the rock of Gibraltar, we'll enter director Pimos, flying manually throughout. Okie dokie. Oh dear. Heads check. Performance, full length from way 27, flaps 3, oh, toga yeah. from a standing okay. start. Yep. Engine out, turn heading 180 in the case of an engine failure to keep us over the water. <laughs> Departure, as discussed, runway heading to 1000 feet, then heading 180, followed by direct Pimos. Uh, it's nerve wracking to be honest guys. Stop altitude, stop but climb not too 4000 feet, which is set in the FCU. Okie dokie. Before takeoff checklist. Complete. Right. Flight controls checked. Yep, we did that before. Briefing confirmed. Very authentic, isn't it? Flap setting, config three. Ah. FMA and takeoff data, V1 blue, V2 magenta, climb nav, 4000 blue, 1 FT2, That's all down there, isn't it? Right, okay. Transponder set. Yep, did that before. ECAM memo, takeoff, no blue. I guess. EFB stowed and disconnected. Okay, electronic flight flight down, there, to, the yeah. line. down to the line. Oof, that was very thorough, wasn't Cabin it? Is secure, Listen to this. Ready. Listen to this. Jetliner eight four six ready for departure. Jetliner eight four six enter and backtrack runway two seven. Enter so you got to do a backtrack here as well. Uh, it's just amazing what it teaches you. This. Take us on to runway two seven. Make a turn to the left and uh, backtrack to the turning bay at the end. You know what, people? Now I can do this and show you this whole mission. That wouldn't be fair. Go out and buy this pack. By the way, I have found I don't have these assistant settings on. I think with these missions, because it's training missions, it's going to have you there. If you want to go and external to see what's happening with your aircraft, I think these will be on by default with the missions. Once you've learnt the missions, go in the sim by yourself and then you don't have to have, to have these on. But I think it's quite handy in case you want to go into external mode, you can see what's happening with your aircraft so all that information's there for you this whole bundle the zero to hero bundle is an absolute hodison recommendation listen i've been flying them i've been training with them if i'm going to be teaching you stuff in the future it's, uh, maybe some of that stuff will be coming from these training packs as well for the price that 40 percent off and if you own them you get even more of a discount absolute no-brainer go out and get this one thank you for sfs academy for sponsoring this video my huge appreciation listen i'm just enjoying this mission pack 
I'll be quite happy with that. Thank you very much. Give the video a like if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe for more, many more Flight Simulator videos on their way. And I'll be seeing you soon.